Wonderful good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today, out of Munich, out of our studios from Commodity TV. I'm very happy it's Monday morning and we have Rand Charlton here, the Vice President of uh, Corporate Affairs of N-Wave. Our yeah, topic of the dehydration technology, you heard already about the company. Uh, they were here the last time in spring this year and John McNichol gave us a nice update. And now we think uh, it's time to talk again with the company. Today it's Brent Charlton, I mentioned it already. Mm -hmm. Brent, thank you very much for taking the time. Well, thank you for having me. Fantastic. Um, we have, yeah, I just said it in spring, you were the mm -hmm. last time here with John. John mm -hmm. was obviously there. And um, yeah, give us a bit of an insight. What happened? Or maybe sh first, uh, firstly give us a short overview about the company and then let's dive into it, what happened sure, since April. Sure, sure, sure. So just to refresh all of the investors' memories, and Wave Corporation is actively marketing a proprietary dehydration technology to major food and pharmaceutical companies. Mm -hmm. We're a licensing and royalty play. So what we want to do is sign commercial licenses with these large companies and attach a royalty to typically the wholesale price at which they would sell products using our technology. Why would they want to do that? Well, our technology offers significant cost savings, operational advantages, also the product characteristics are very, very attractive, which sets them apart from other, other opportunities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so you said already the uh, the magic word commercial license. Mm -hmm. uh, this mm -hmm. implements to me, of course, what happened since April. We, we, we saw some good movements. Mm -hmm. I think you had last week with Campo Frio, was the name of the company. You, you right. signed another deal. So can you elaborate a bit about the deals you have done in the last yeah, four or five months? Sure. So I guess I'll start off by saying that we, um, we currently are working with a number of very notable companies on an R&D basis. The most recent announcement, as you mentioned, was Campo Frio, mm -hmm. one of Europe's leading um, manufacturer of processed meats. Mm -hmm. That's a very important step for us because, again, since we last spoke, mm -hmm. we signed a commercial license with Hormel Foods, which is one of the predominant meat producers in the U.S., to use our technology produce product, and pay us a royalty. So we see Campo Frio as being able to expand on a global basis in that market sector. Mm -hmm. In addition to Hormel Foods, we also signed a commercial license with a food enzyme company based in North America. Very important new market sector to address, very high value end product. Mm -hmm. We also recently signed a commercial license with a spice producer out of California called Napa Mountain Spice Company. Mm -hmm. And um, you know that brings our total amount of commercial licenses to six in, in uh, existence right now. So you said you have now f yeah, six uh, commercial licenses. Um, so when do you expect the, the first real revenue? I, I think you have already mm -hmm. some revenue um, because uh, I think this is something what, what yeah, maybe shareholders or also our viewers, of course, want mm -hmm. to know. When will we see yeah, the first real cash flow, profit maybe? Uh, can you elaborate a bit on that? Yeah, well, we believe that we have the potential to reach cash flow positive territory within the next 18 months. Mm -hmm. Now we have a second tier one company that is on the verge of making a commercial decision potentially over the next four to six weeks here. Mm -hmm. So if they choose to go forward, that would be a major sign of adoption of our technology, mm -hmm. acceptance of our business model, and for us, obviously, building the foundation for future royalty revenue growth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, when you make this announcement, are you allowed to say the name then when, when you announce it, or it's only like a T.O. one company? <laughs> no, of, of course, our plan okay. would be uh, to potentially, obviously, include the name, the product area. As of right now, we have six different market sectors that we have commercialized the technology into. If we are successful with this other opportunity, that potentially would be a seventh market sector addressed by our technology. Are you safe financially for the next two, three years? Well, we're in a very strong financial position currently. We have just under $6 million in the bank, no debt. And with our projections, we believe we have the potential to be cash flow positive within mm -hmm. you know, 18 months or so. That could be faster or, or slower depending on how things roll out with each individual yeah. company. But um, we think we have a very real opportunity to potentially do that. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of revenue growth, I mean, last year we showed just under $500,000 in revenue on the books, but through mm -hmm. the consolidation of Hans Binder and also a joint partnership, which we recently started in the US, um, our revenues have already grown to close to $5 million this year and we're approaching a little bit higher. Oh, well, this this is the, those this is the stuff we want to hear, of course. <laughs> so mm -hmm. you're financially sound, you're safe. Um, I saw also that uh, you have started to put to produce your own cheese products. Correct. So this well, is what's going on there? Because yeah. I, I tasted them uh, uh, the <laughs> last time, and it was something like uh, more in the, in the in the yeah in the try and in the scanning phase. Mm -hmm. Now I saw that you have already real products mm -hmm. with, uh, with which 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 you can sell in the retail stores. Right. So how is it going there? It's going absolutely fantastic. Um, so we, 
formed a joint partnership with one of our directors, the ex-chairman of Brookside Foods, which was a confectionery company in North America. Brookside Foods sold to Hershey's for a very large amount about a year and a half ago. And after that sale, uh, Hugh Weave, the director, wanted to join and form a partnership to produce a new snack product that he thought could have tremendous traction in the North American market mm -hmm. as a healthy alternative to some of the other cheese products available. So the development and the production have been going very well mm -hmm. and are pl we're planning to launch within the next two weeks here into the U.S. market in the Pacific Northwest under the brand Moon Cheese. And I'll say this, that one of Why the... Why is it Moon Cheese? Well, Who came by that name? <laughs> there's, a, there's a story as, as, a, as a child, you know, people think the, the moon might be made of cheese and they're crunchy mm -hmm. and uh, the, the marketing people came up with that, but it seemed okay. to have been taken on quite well. Yeah. And um, I will say this, that one of the top grocery chains in North America is um, potentially going to be carrying this mm -hmm. and it would have great exposure. And again, another new revenue source for us going forward as the partnership right now is 70% owned by N-Wave albeit that Hugh has a buyback option of up to 49%, so another 19% he can purchase back um, mm -hmm. up until the end of 2014. Mm -hmm. So this will be another new revenue stream that will begin to be built over the next few years here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that's so nice. And uh, the thing is, well, you, you own the cheese stuff, I would call it totally, so that means you can do, you, you, you can do it worldwide, right? Um, well, we do have the exclusivity <coughs> for Nutridride LLP in the U.S., that being mm -hmm. said, we have another company called NDH Retail BV based out of uh, Amsterdam and mm -hmm. in, in Belgium, who is very interested in producing dried cheese products in mm -hmm. Europe. Now we're on an R&D basis with them, but we would expect them to potentially make a commercial decision oh, wow. near term. Uh -huh. And also in Canada, we're working with a company called Gailey Foods, a very big dairy cooperative located in Ontario, who's also considering a number of different dairy products for commercialization. So again, this is one market sector that we're trying to build multiple opportunities in and create multiple royalty revenue streams going forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, sounds like an excellent project. Uh, one last question. Uh, what do we expect for the next, let's say, by the end of the year? How many yeah, commercial licenses you think you are able to generate within the, this year and next mm -hmm. year? Mm -hmm. what, what, is, what is in the pipeline? Um, well, we're very optimistic <coughs> about our, our chances to convert additional R&D agreements into commercial licenses. Like mm -hmm. I mentioned before, um, there's a second tier one who's considering making a commercial decision near term. We're also talking to uh, several other tier two companies, which we feel we have a good opportunity to get them to commercial decisions this year. Mm -hmm. um, and also we're working with a number of other large companies on a preemptive R&D basis, hoping to be able to announce formal collaborative relationships before the end of the year. So I think our opportunity for news flow is very, very strong over mm -hmm. the next couple of months here. Mm -hmm. So we can expect a lot from your company. I certainly hope so. Yeah. yeah, I certainly hope so. I mean, the opportunities are there. Yeah. Now it's up to management to convert those. Fantastic. Brent, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you. We look forward uh, to talk soon to you, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, all the best and keep it going. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it was Brent Charlton, the Vice President Corporate Development of N-Wave Corporation. Uh, yeah, dehydration at its best. And uh, you, to be honest, I tasted uh, the products already like pineapple, like uh, blueberries, and especially the cheese products. I really love them and they are very healthy. There are no additives in and watch out for the company. Watch Commodity TV. Thanks for viewing us. Bye bye.